It's the second time in the space of a month that Channel's television is visiting the Jegu area of Lagos State. The first was to air a story on the rescue of 19 pregnant teenagers and two newborns. This time, an illegal healing center in the Sherry Ocean part of Ijegun is the focus where police evacuated victims allegedly suffering from neurological disorders. <laughs> Further investigation reveals that six out of those initially rescued are inmates of the center, while others are church members. Like others in this center, 29-year-old Adewali Adetono is still in chains. He alleges that he was forcefully committed to the center by his mother after his sudden return from Cairo, Egypt, where he was studying an engineering course a claim his mother denies. The only, the only thing I'm, I'm trying to say is that since we are here, I think everything is already settled. Everybody, yeah, sure, sure. Everybody will go his own separate way. I want to go home. Yes, I want to go home. It was when he returned that he started behaving strangely. We have been to psychiatric hospitals before, but he always insists on going home. <laughs> For Mr. Sunday Ujo, the operator of the center, providing healing to people with mental illness and other disorders is his specialty. He explains that he uses water, oil, and prayers as his healing tools, which he alleges has worked for over a thousand victims in the past 10 years. When I know say they do, can I go remove the shield? Because of security, make them no run. Or make them move the order. That's why they pull in. When I know say they day okay, some day go this year, some day, but when I day okay, they know they, they know they get problem. Hey, I'm surprised you have become a police police person because I know say I know do bad. But restoration doesn't come that easy, as the victims are restrained for about six months when they are first brought in, like these inmates.